Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes. I would just like to say first a big thank you for all the likes, comments on my last hot sauce review. It was very popular so I decided I am going to do another one. So today we have our Jamaican red crushed pepper sauce. Once again walking through town just having a quick nosy round seeing what's about. And this jumped out at me bright red in colour it's absolutely demon red and obviously Jamaican they do like their hot sauces do like their hot foods so we're going to give this a quick try and see what it's all about plain simple label ingredients Jamaican red crushed peppers water cane vinegar sea salt approved spices We'll try and work out what them spices are as we taste. Sodium benecots, preservative and starch. The very best of Jamaican West Indian pepper. Product of Jamaica. So it is imported from Jamaica. The nutritional facts as, you, as, you, <coughs> as usual. So as I said, bright red in colour. Let's uh, crack it open. Hopefully this one will be easier to open than the last one. Which it certainly is. Shake well before use. We'll give it a quick shake. Unscrew the cap. We'll have a quick sniff. Doesn't smell excessively hot. Just a smell of red chili peppers, black pepper, um, not a lot else really. It's not too spicy on the sniff so let's have a quick taste I haven't got a spoon on me at the moment so we're just gonna have a quick swig out the bowl they'll only be me using this anyway so we'll see how it goes let's have a quick taste then the consistency is watery but you've got the crunch of the chili peppers hold in there it does say very hot I don't think it's very hot it's got a nice heat to it this type of thing be good on your tacos good on all your spaghetti as the last one was the heat a little bit on your tongue it's not hit the back of my throat just yet or down your chest or your stomach there's not much sweetness to it. I can't really taste any of the spices, the approved spices they put in it, so I'm not sure what's actually in there. But it's not a bad hot sauce. Not, if you're not a chili head and you don't like things too hot, this would be good for you. I think I paid, I think it was only about 89p for a bottle at the local B&M store again. It's a good store B&M if you pop in. You have a decent selection.